videos have turned out pretty good, but not because I've been out there finding new stuff. Most is because I'm getting stuff sent to me. Well, I did find two unopened LK's boxes. I took one of the boxes home with me. Um, three, I didn't say two, there was three of them. So I looked through three L cases and uh, one treasure hunt. No supers. And of the three cases, there was only one treasure hunt in them. But the L case cars that I was missing, I was able to grab, I was able to pick up. We've, I mean guys, we've seen L cases old news. We've seen all these. Uh, I did pick up a couple more of these uh, Steamboat Willies because I know some people want them. So I'm gonna send them to some folks. Uh, I was finally able to grab a hold of this, but not the not the super, just the uh, just the main line. But the main line is still cool. Didn't have it in my collection, so I was able to grab it. Uh, I was able to grab this one. And like I said, like this is L case. This is old news, but these cars I hadn't been able to get a hold of. And man, I like I like that flat blue on this and his race team. You know, it's the Hot Wheels race team livery, which. Makes it even cooler, makes it even cooler. All right, anything else in here I hadn't had in my collection? This, this is cool. But again, you know, we've seen this. So many other people have already found these and reviewed them and showed them. So this is all old news, old news. But uh, I think that's it for for new L case. And then everything else in here is just a bunch of repeats of, of stuff that I'm gonna send to people, like the C10 pickup truck. Grab a couple of those because I know that people are looking for that C10 pickup truck. Hey, still haven't bought a new chair. Still noisy. I did find this. Check this out. So the reason why I'm showing this to you is it's ultra. It it's ultra. It's Ultron. So it's Ultron, obviously, and you know you can see that it's the. Um, the solid muscle is the cast. Ultron, it's Marvel, but what's cool about this is it's a set. There's six cars in this set. I only found the one car. I found it at my Walmart. So I know that eventually the other five are gonna come out and I'm gonna have a new set to hang on the wall. But as soon as I find that, as soon as I find that set, um, I'll review it, we'll go over that. Just, you know, something exciting. It's a new it's a new set of cars that I haven't seen before that I'm gonna look for. Throw that in here. Now, check this out. A while ago, like a week, a week and a half, maybe, maybe more, my man Sammy sent me this. And it took the postal service forever to deliver it. I don't know what was going on. But it's here now here now so we're gonna open this up and see what see what Sammy sent and I'm excited to get into this because Sammy uh, he does customs he does really nice customs um, in fact he's already done up another one that's on his way and I can't wait to get here because it has to do with the football team that I like so I'm pretty excited to see it but we're gonna jump into this so we can see what uh, what Sammy sent and it's gonna be exciting my dad he gave me this uh, brown paper bag with some cars in it. And he found some good ones. He found some good ones. So we're gonna, just, I'm gonna show you what my dad found me, gave me. So, and then a couple days ago, I was supposed to wake my butt up and do an early hunt with Raul and the Mustang Hunter. The three of us were all supposed to go out and do a hunt. Well, this fool didn't wake up. I mean, my alarm went off, I woke up, and, and I thought I was good, but I did one of those, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a second. And like two hours later, I woke up again. So so I missed the hunt, and I was bummed, because it was my actually my opportunity to finally meet Raul. I mean, we've had interactions, you know, via text messages, because we've got this group text going now. But, um, but I haven't, actually got to meet him yet and that was my opportunity and I screwed it up because I didn't wake up but Raul he hooked me up so the Mustang Hunter gave me this bag he said hey you know you missed the hunt but Raul Raul got you so we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see what uh, Raul was able to what he hooked me up with and I'm 
pretty excited about it because the Mustang Hunter was pretty excited about this. So, so I'm excited to jump into this. So let's get this camera turned around and let's check this stuff out. Every Sunday we race the gauntlet. So just bringing that up, every Sunday we race the gauntlet. And next, this coming Sunday, uh, we have Wayne in his crazy looking funny car. God, I love the livery of this thing. It, like I said in the past, it looks hungry. So Wayne is taking on the gauntlet and we're gonna see if Eddie, who is sitting on the bubble and the gatekeeper to it, can hold him off. So, like I said, Sunday, Sunday race day. Looking forward to it. All right, this right here, let me get my trusty little blade out. Let's pop this open and see what, um, see what Sammy sent. And like I said, guys, this is gonna be, Sammy does customs and I am looking forward to seeing what Sammy did. I'm hoping there's a custom in here. I'm pretty sure there is. So, yep. Oh my goodness, Sammy, my man. Oh, look at that. Do you see what that says? We have a racer. So this is gonna go to the gauntlet. Sammy is challenging the gauntlet. Where is the tape on this thing? Okay, I'm just gonna have to find right here. Let's see what this is about right here. Look at that. This is the racer, it's gonna challenge the gauntlet. Guys, that looks like a stock car. What is this? Let's look, let's see here. Chevy Impala. That's the Chevy Impala, man. <laughs> Good job, Sammy. I know exactly what car this is. I see that you've taken it and painted it orange, but you know, it's a, uh, glued is good the wheels are good it's a stock chassis there's no extra added weight to this car it's good the wheels look good okay Sammy's in the lineup Sammy is in the lineup all right Sammy you're going in right there so we got rapid Nismo it's back in the Honda Civic with a laptop I think that's so funny that he says that. He goes, race my Civic with a laptop. I love it. So we got Rapid Nismo and then Sammy. Sammy is going to take on the gauntlet. There's his racer. Very good. Now, like I said, Sammy does customs. And uh, I'm looking at this. I can tell it's a Porsche. I can tell it's a Porsche. And I think it's a 959. Let's get this thing open. Let me get my blade out again so I can find where that tape overlaps so we can cut it let's see here where did you overlap it there it is it's right it's right there okay so let's slice that tape off boom 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 and sure enough look at this man look at that guys a 959. Tail lights are all done up. Damn, it looks good. I love this car. I love the 959. I believe though, that's that's the stock car. I don't think he actually customized this. I think this is just the stock car. Maybe he did. I think maybe he put in some little details. Yeah, I think I think he did put in some some little details on this thing. Kind of make it his own. Regardless, that looks good. I, like I said, I love this car. And if, you know, if you don't know about the 959, guys, this was the first car Porsche built that went over 200 miles an hour. It was their very first supercar. It's a good roll. It's quiet roll. Set that right up there. Sammy, thank you so much. Let's set that right up there. 
Thank you so much for that. That's gonna go up in the display case next to the other 959s I have up there. Um, yeah, and sorry for that taking so long to get here from the post office, but I'm glad that it finally did because I love that you're in, on the races and you know me and Porsches. I love Porsches. All right, so my dad, he handed me this, uh, this brown paper bag and this brown paper bag has some really nice cars in it. Yes, guys, I've already cheated. I've already looked at these cars, so I can tell you that they're good. Well, this one just rolled out. There's a couple of loose in here. This is a matchbox, so. As you guys can see, let me get it to where we can read it. Um, it's the matchbox. I don't know if we can read that. I can't read that. I know it's a Porsche Cayman, so. So this is Mashbox version of the Porsche Cayman. And this is Hot Wheels version of the Porsche Cayman. So, you know, Matchbox. And this, they did a much better job with the headlights as far as Matchbox. Did a much better job with the headlights. Paint looks good. Yeah, the tail lights look better. They put a license plate on it. So, you know, Matchbox is out detailing uh, Hot Wheels when it comes to the Porsche Cayman. So my dad, that's one that he got me. Um, let's go through this. Let me pop some of these carded ones. Check this out. So this was very cool. Blue card, first edition. 1941 Ford pickup. Look at that motor. Yellow and black. Uh, I mean, this that's just cool. It looks like... It, it looks like the, the Mustang. With, well, I guess they also did a Camaro like this. The tuned Camaro and the tuned Mustang with this motor. That big old motor like that. This looks cool though. So this was a 2000, 2003. So yeah, it says first thing, yeah, 20, 2003 first edition. But that's cool. So my dad, he found me that one. Set that down. And he found this, oh, look at this guys, it's a GOAT, it's a GTO, 67 Pontiac GTO, look at that livery, <laughs> I love it, flower power, um, this one, you know, there's the collector's number, this is a... So 2000, so 2001 release on this. Yeah, that looks so cool. John DeLorean, that's who designed this car. People don't know that. Well, maybe some people do. If you've watched the documentary, you know it. Uh, but yeah, before John DeLorean started his own company, he worked for Pontiac and he's the one that designed this car. All right. Let's see here, digging in the, digging in the bag. Uh, I wanna look at that one last, so let's, let's set that one here. I'm gonna pull all of these cars out of the, out of the bag here. All right, check this out. Now recently you saw that uh, I had picked this car up in a set, in the uh, Overwatch set, because it's, it's based off of a Toyota Supra. It's very cool and you know I don't even know if he realized that I was that I'm looking for all the variations now of this car it's got that chassis mounted wing um, but he found this he found this at an antique store so I mean it's, it's beat up it's got some paint chips and stuff in it but I love it I love it they don't call it a Supra this car has had three different names so Dude, I, I love this. This is cool. I was so happy when I saw this one. I, I got pretty excited because, like I said, it's based off of the Toyota Supra. And um, yeah, so he got that one for me. Then he picked up this Dodge Viper that's been well loved. You can see all the paint, paint chips. So this is going to be a custom. I want to pull this apart and may, probably repaint it, switch out the wheels. Um, this is a good. This will be. This will make a good you know, custom or, or resto or whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna pull that apart, but I was happy to get that, that Dodge Viper. Then he got me this Corvette, which I was pretty excited about. 
That looks cool. I have no idea. Well, does it have the, the copyright date on it? Oh, I'm upside down. I don't see a copyright date on the bottom of this. So, but you know, it's the Corvette Grand Sport. Um, it's the it's the version of the car that was actually ran in Le Mans. Um, it was well, actually, Chevy was banned from driving this car in the Le Mans, and so this car had to drive under private owners. It couldn't drive under the Chevy under the Chevy um, name. So, but yeah, this car did race in Le Mans. But that's just cool. I like the way that looks. But and that's why it was built. This car was actually built to race Le Mans. So, pretty happy to have that. That's going to go up there with the other Corvettes. And then check it out, guys. Check it out, a passing gas. Look at that. A passing gasser. When I saw this, this was so cool. I've only ever seen pictures of these, of the passing gas. I've never had, like, I don't have one in my, this is the only one I have in my collection. I've not seen them in other people's collections. I've only ever seen pictures of it. And, you know, he handed me a bag and here it is. Look at that. Like, I've never even seen these wheels before. I don't even know what that wheel is called. I know what that one's called. But that one, I have no idea what that wheel is called. I'm going to have to ask the Mustang Hunter what that wheel is called. Five dot maybe, but it's it's kind of like a five dot. I don't know. But look at that. Passing gas. I actually have one in my collection now. It's the only one I've ever like actually seen with my own eyeballs. Like I said, I've seen pictures of them, but I've never seen one in person. So, so yeah. Pops, thanks for this. I'm really excited. I'm really happy to have this car right here. That's very cool. Very cool. All right, guys. Now for the big bag from all Let me get these guys over here out of the way. Sorry for the noise. Get the passing gas. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put the passing gas right here next to the to the Porsche. All right. Let's see what the man, Raul, hooked me up with. Even though, like a dummy, I uh, couldn't wake myself up to go and do some hunts with him. I really, really feel bad about that too. I've been mad at myself for a while. <laughs> Next time I will wake up. Next time I'll make sure I, I get plenty of caffeine in my system and, and I get my butt up to go and, and do some hunting. All right, micro machines, interesting, okay. Oh, well, that's a chase. <laughs> it even says it right there, chase. So the silver is a chase and the golds are ultra chase cars. So yeah, that's a chase car. That's cool. I don't have any micro machines, but I, re well, currently, when I was a kid, I had a bunch of these. I had a bunch of micro machines as a kid and you know, fun to play with. So, all right, micro machine chase car. That's cool. Now, the Mustang Hunter said there is a car in here that he's jealous of, and I'm curious as to what it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So this is now, so you guys know, this is the second one I have now. Because, move that bag over to the side a little bit. Because if you remember, Juan T sent this in to race the gauntlet. And because it was an ID car and I didn't have a second one I didn't open Juan T's ID car I went and bought um, the the mainline version of this car and raced it and it ended up and it ended up going and and sitting on top of the gauntlet and it sat up there for a while it sat up there for a couple weeks um, in fact I believe yeah it was uh, Jay from the JDC is the car that knocked him off of the top of the gauntlet. And then he uh, and then he ended up working his way off. In fact, I think last week, last weekend was his last weekend on the on the gauntlet. But yeah, all right. So now I have two of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean it's an ID chase car. Love it. Absolutely love it. Is that there? Okay. Alright, coming in here, we've got, look at this, an exclusive. Yep, the GTR R35 
Kroger exclusive. I love this car. I like the GTRs. I like the JDM. Again, this is the second one I have because the Mustang Hunter actually gave me one. Yep, he gave me one of these before I could find it. So this is number two. Number two. But man, it's just a good looking car. Uh, this black and red is my favorite color combination for this car. I like it better than the gray. So, all right, digging in here for some more. Look at this. I have this one, I have it loose. I think I, yeah, make sure that this isn't, yep. I have this bone shaker, I have it loose. And I also have, look up there, also loose is the uh, ID car, the bone shaker ID car. So, but man, you can never have enough bone shakers. Love the Bone Shaker. It is one of my favorite, if not my favorite. Okay, digging in here. I'm just, guys, I'm just digging this bag to what I see. Oh, here's the gray one I was talking about. Okay. So, the gray one looks cool. That looks cool. But I think this black and red just, it's just menacing. It looks mean. But there, I mean, what do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? Do you like the black and red, or do you like that gray and black? I mean, they're both good looking cars. Got the 10 spoke versus the Steelys. I love the red on the wheels though. Okay, so there you go. To tell me which one you like better. Oh, look at this. Do not have. Do I have? All right, look at that. Another ID Chase, the GT Hunter. ID Chase car. God, that looks good. It's actually a good looking car. I wonder, I wonder how this would do on the track. I mean, I'm not gonna open it to find out, but I am curious. I, I'm wondering how this would do if it took on the gauntlet. Interesting. All right, so, oh, here it is. Okay, you know, I have this one loose and it's it's way up high in the case up there, but now I have it carded. It's going, so this will be wall art. Oh man, look at that. The ID Chase car bone shaker. That is nice. Raul, this is, these are some nice cars, Raul. Man, and if you look, okay, so this, this has the Spectre Flame, whereas this one doesn't. So you can see the difference in the paint job. Spectre Flame versus not Spectre Flame. And then this one has the, the closed top versus the open top. But man, yeah, look at that Spectre Flame looks nice. Raul, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Digging another one out. Oh, oh man, he is hooking me up with these ID cars. Look at that. Another one I don't have. Arachnorod, never found it, don't have it. Man, that's nice. <laughs> Again, check out that Spectre Flame. That's got a little face there on the front of it. Huh. Okay, another car, another ID chase car that I did not have. Raul, thank you. It's another one I could put up there on the wall with the, with the IDs. I won't open those. Red edition bone shaker. And here's the funny thing. So I opened all of my bone shakers that were carded so that I could put them in the display case. So, I mean, I have the red edition, but it's open. So now I have it carded. Very cool. So if I want to display it like this, I can. But dude, how can you not like the Bone Shaker? It's so cool, and there's so many variations of it. Like you could just collect the Bone Shaker. You could just go out there and hunt this vehicle right here, because there are so many variations of it. So many variations of it. What do we got here? The Austin Martin, okay. Now I have this one, and here's the funny thing about this ID chase car. This is the first one I found by myself in the wild. I found this one first. So this is number two for this for this car. 
but it's one I found. But man, look at that, that red Spectre Flame, guys. I like that they do the Spectre Flame on these ID cars. And obviously, I like ID cars. Whether it's in the box or whether it's in a chase, I think the ID cars are awesome. So I'm on a, I'm on a mission to find all of them. So look at that. Love that Spectre Flame. Very cool. Very cool. Up next. Okay. Check this out. Blue card. Porsche. It's the, the, well, it says right here, cool sports graphics. So it's the Porsche 930. I have this car. Did I take it out of its blister? No. So I have it carded because Austin at Porsche Hot Wheels Hunter sent me one. Is Austin that sent it? Pretty sure it was. Austin sent me a lot of Porsches. So I have this, but now that I have two, and I don't have one opened up yet up in the display case. So now I gotta go and find my carded ones and find it, but yeah. So I do have this, but that looks cool. Who gave this? Was this Grandpa Larry that gave this to me? It may have been Grandpa Larry that this one came from. I can't, I can't remember. Now I'm gonna have to go back and check. But I did get this one, you know, maybe a month ago. I was sent it. So, very cool. It's still a very cool car, and I love having a double. I love having two. So when it comes to Porsches, you can't have too many. Okay, oh, look at this. All right. This is a Kroger exclusive. And I do have it. Um, I have it loose right here. Up here in the display case. So yeah, I found this a while back at Fry's. And of course, you know me, I opened it, put it in the display case. It's fully detailed. This is a good looking cast. This is a really good job for this car. It's very nice. All right. And it looks like there's a box in here now. Okay, bag's empty. Now we got this box. Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Okay. Let's see what's in the box. I'm afraid to look in here, guys. Because when you start putting stuff in boxes like this, uh, <laughs> I'm afraid to look in here. I mean, I'm excited to look in here, but... Man, I feel like I'm not gonna have to. I'm gonna owe Raul big time. I'm gonna owe him big time. What we go? Oh man! Oh, there it is. I don't have this one. That looks. That looks amazing. '69 Copa Camaro ID Chase car. Ah, oh, look at the. Just look at the detailing on the hood and the way the the just the lines pop. That Falcon delivery. Delivery. That Falcon livery. Look at how fat those wheels are in the back. That stance is just, this is just a really well done car. Oh, bro, that is gorgeous. Thank you so much, dude. I mm, love it. Man. So I'm wondering if this is the car that the Mustang Hunter is jealous of. Maybe. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. This has gotta be the car. Look at that, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Raul, I owe you, I owe you big time. That is amazing. All right, last, but oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Raul, are you? No way. Boy, you better run for me when I see you because I'm gonna straight kiss you on the mouth. Look at that. Oh man, Raul. Man. God, these always look so much better in person. Look at the wheels. The way those wheels are set up, the stance on this car, the Spectre Flame paint with those, with those flames. Oh man, that's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Bro. 
So here's the main line of that car, which looks really good. The main line looks good. But then when you compare it to the treasure hunt, just the upgraded wheels, you know, you got the TH right there. That Spectre Flame paint. I mean. Oh, Raul. Thank you so much. Now I know this is the car that the Mustang Hunter is jealous of. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. That is that is absolutely amazing. I'm blown away, man. I, I, I'm just, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. And believe me, the next time we're doing an early morning hunt, I will be there. Ah, Raul, you're the man. You are the man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's just like a great way to end the video is on this treasure hunt. But you know, I always end videos with a uh, photo montage. And the car that I was thinking about doing, I'm not gonna do now. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the mainline version of the super treasure hunt. So, dude, I'm actually, I'm kind of shaky right now. That is so cool. That is very cool. Raul, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get to this photo montage. Here we go.